I'm Tracy Banks doing the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this Newswatch update. In Port Jervis this morning, 18-year-old Alessandra Maida had gotten stuck after falling through the ice on the Neversink River 20 feet from the shoreline. A 911 call brought members of the Port Jervis Police and Fire Departments to the scene off North Maple Avenue, where Officer Michael Decker and Fire Department Deputy Chief James Rohner used a rescue rope and a rescue uh, a disc flotation device to bring uh, Maida to shore. She was taken to Bon Secours Hospital in Port Jervis for treatment of hypothermia and cuts to her leg. According to police, she fell through the ice after trying to retrieve a cell phone that had been thrown onto the ice. Investigators looking into the fire last week that destroyed the old homestead restaurant in Bridgeville um, believe the blaze uh, began on either the second or third floors of the landmark eatery, but they acknowledge that the exact cause may never be determined. Reporter Leonard Sparks will have more information on the fire probe here at Record Online and in an upcoming edition of the Times-Herald Record. Reporter Mike Randall's working on a story of a possible gas price gouging by a petroleum distribu- distributor that uh, operates a pair of stations in the town of Highlands. Assemblyman James Scoofus has uh, reportedly threatened to bring the situation to the attention of the state attorney general's office. Orange County officials will gather tomorrow for a news conference to announce the start of work to upgrade the Board of Elections and 1841 courthouse buildings in Goshen. The work will include the demolition at the current Board of Elections and legal aid buildings in order to put administrative staff and voting equipment in one central location. To make way for the Board of Elections upgrade, uh, the county's Information Technology Department has been moved to the Emergency Services Center. And now that the big storms passed us by, we can report that the word blizzard is thankfully not in our local forecast. There will be a little more light snow flurries uh, flying around at times overnight, and it'll be cold tonight with wind chills between 0 and 5 above. Tomorrow, it'll be mostly sunny. With this News Watch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.